Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have for you three Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. Every season and every holiday, I always make one of my favorite wreaths, which y'all know it's a splatter screen wreath. So I'm going to be making an Easter splatter screen wreath. We're going to be using some of the tall Dollar Tree candles and some of the window decorations so you will need for these three DIYs. I picked up three packages of the window decorations or window clings, but I believe Dollar Tree has four designs. They were just all so cute, so I just couldn't decide, but I knew that I loved that little blue truck, and then I also like the hot air balloons, so I thought they would fit perfect on a candle. First I tried the tape trick, then I tried the rubbing alcohol, and I just could not get my labels to come off. So y'all give me some tips on how to remove these stickers in the comments section below. And then I'll also wipe them down with rubbing alcohol. And you will also need a four by six photo frame. So first I just took the window clings and I just pulled them carefully off of the package and I just stuck them onto the glass and then just pressed them down and it turned out so cute. So the hot air balloon is a perfect fit. And so I just did each one the same way, just cleaned them first with rubbing alcohol, let it dry, and then stuck on the window cling. This is the first time that I have been able to find the cute window clings or window decorations. So if you have made these before, let me know if I need to put a layer of Mod Podge over these. If you're not quite ready to decorate for Easter, I know it's early, um, Dollar Tree does have some Valentine gnome window decorations or window clings, but I have not been able to find the cute gnomes yet. So this is a very simple DIY and it just really changes the look of your candles and you can change them for each season or holiday if you can get lucky and find these window decorations. They also feel like really good quality window decorations. They're kind of thicker than most, so that's why I was asking if I need to add a layer of Mod Podge or not. Next, I'm taking my 4x6 photo frame and I just clean the glass. Then I'm cutting out a piece of paper. I just wanted a solid white background, but I didn't have any solid white paper, so I had to use this checked paper. So I just cut it out, put it back in the frame, and then this one's so simple too. Just clean your glass with rubbing alcohol, let it dry, and then you're just going to take the cute little blue bus window cling and center it up on your little frame and push it to the glass. I think I called it a bus, but it's really a little truck and it's so cute, full of little Easter eggs and it says, let's hunt for eggs. And then I also had to add a tiny bow to the top of the photo frame. This blue ribbon is also from Dollar Tree. It was in the craft section. So I just tied a single bow with it and I just kind of cut my ends of my ribbon at a slant or knife cut. And then I just took some silver string and I just tied it tightly around the center of the bow. I just tied a knot and then cut my strings off short. And then I um, hot glued it onto the center of the photo frame. Now it's cute without doing anything else, but I just like to add a bow to things. Last, I added a little pearl to the center of the bow. Now you're ready to set it up and display it. Now for my favorite and third DIY, you will need a splatter screen, some Easter picks, some floral picks, some floral wire, some ribbon with wire, a zip tie, a placemat, and I think that's it to get started. First, you're going to take your placemat and just center it up over your splatter screen. We just removed the knob, so center it up, and we're just taking some 20 gauge floral wire and wiring the placemat onto the splatter screen. Next, we're going to make our little flower bouquet. You're going to take some taller picks and place them on the table first for the back of the little bouquet. 
and then just start layering your flowers and you'll want some with different heights and different textures and most all of these flowers came from Dollar Tree. I think the two uh, pink roses came from Walmart. After you have your flowers like you want, then you'll want to zip tie them tightly together. Make sure you get that zip tie nice and tight. Now I am just taking some of the Dollar Tree Easter egg picks and I am just hot gluing them onto the edge of the placemat. They're styrofoam, very lightweight. Just make sure you don't hot glue your placemat down to your table. So I just spaced them out and hot glued them on. Be very careful when you're using your hot glue. Let the little Easter eggs have time to dry. I did add a little bit of hot glue to the center of the placemat um, where the sticks came together. I just kind of glued the sticks together. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going to tie a bow. You'll want to use ribbon with wire. So I just took my ribbon, made a loop, have it pinched tightly in my hand. Now I'm going to go to one side. I'm going to tr twist my ribbon to keep the design on top and make a loop and keep it pinched tightly in my hand. Sometimes you have to twist your ribbon when you have a design to keep it on top and also it kind of gives that loop um, a, kind of like a little lift too when you twist your ribbon. The first loop is my like center loop of my bow and so now I'm doing my left and right side little loops. So what I did was each time I tried to make the loops a little bit, not much, but a little bit longer than the previous one. So I'm going to have three loops on each side of my bow and then you'll have the center piece. Now when I started I cut a piece of ribbon about seven feet long. I didn't quite get it long enough because I had to add a streamer to make it have long tails. Take the end of your ribbon and make another loop just like you did when you started your bow and this, make it into a circle, and you're going to take a zip tie, thread it through the loops, and then you're going to zip tie the center of your bow nice and tight. Make sure you get that zip tie nice and tight, and then that last loop you made, that's your tails, so you'll cut it apart. And normally I like longer tails, and I didn't make this one quite long enough, so you'll see in just a second, I cut a long strip of ribbon and added it in with a wire. Next, I'm going to take my bouquet of flowers and I'm going to wire them on to the splatter screen. So you'll want to carefully thread your wire through the placemat, through the splatter screen on each side of your flowers, then go to the back and give the wires a few twists, cut off the extra part and fold them down. I added a wire up top too so that my flowers would not fall forward. Then you'll want to fluff your flowers. Next, I'm just going above where I wired my bouquet on and the zip tie, wiring my bow on each side of my flowers, going to the back, giving the wires a few twists, cutting them off and folding them down. You could add some felt over the back of the splatter screen so that it does not scratch your door. Then to hang this wreath, I just threaded some wire through the top of the screen, made a loop to hang it up on my door. And so this is how my Easter splatter screen wreath looks. I hope you enjoyed these three DIYs. Let me know which one is your favorite.